Well, I've got Thomas Anquist with me, who is part of our Australian Open Big Mac Legends Tournament. Thomas, welcome back to Australia. I know that you have had huge success here at the Australian Open, and we're so happy to have you in the Legends again. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Tell us about your Legend experience, because... Um, we, we love having the Swedes back here, and I think the Swedes love Australia. Absolutely. This has actually been our home slam in a way, you know? Yeah. Like it's, uh, I remember when we started to, when I started to come here, like the, the enormous support we had from our Swedish supporters who yeah. flew all the way from Sweden to support us. And they were actually, they were, I think they were the first one who, who really put like this Davis Cup atmosphere in this event. Yeah, they were the ones, the Vikings in the stands with the, the yellow and the blue zinc. And uh, they really started the nationalistic pride that goes on here. Absolutely. And I remember like the first year I played here, I think we were 18 Swedes in the main role. Wow. Favorite person to play legends with or the one that has the is the most difficult to play against, perhaps? Oh, good question. But I'm very lucky this year. I'm playing together with Mats Wielander, who was one of my idols, one of the reasons why you really got into tennis in the first place. So I'm lucky to play with him. But then, I mean, it's just all good. I mean, they're all great champions. And to... To, uh, to, to be able to play I mean, in this venue again, like with all the crowd and to, to go back out on a big court like this. I mean, it's, uh, you turn back the clock 20 years, it's nice. If you had an opportunity to play against one of the all-time greats of the game, one of the all-time legends, who would that be? Can I say three names? Go ahead. I would love to play Rod Laver, uh, Bjorn Borg and uh, Rafa Nadal. Rod Laver is obviously idolized by my first coach, so it's a, it's, it's a strong memory I had from very, very young, you know. And then uh, Bjorn Borg, obviously, my, my really superhero, like uh, the reason why I wanted to play tennis and, and my whole life has been my biggest idol always. And then Rafa Nadal, because I never played against him, it would be so interesting just to feel the ball with all that spin. I'm more curious to see, but I don't want to know the result against him. <laughs> Dave Kenny 28 he says who's your favorite legend from any sport um, Michael Jordan and Bjorn Borg so we've got tennis in there absolutely Michael Jordan for what reason um, I think like obviously that his athleticism and everything that he did and all of his achievements but also like the way he um, the mental approach he had to it and then Bjorn Borg again like always been my superhero and and um, if, it's an, if I had to name one, I would say Bjorn Borg. And this one's from Kay Woolley. White or coloured tennis gear? And what do you think of Rafa's fluoro pink? Well, he get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you wear it? I, I No, I would not wear it, for sure not. I'm, I'm more for, like, I, I like, you know, I like us to have the... I don't want. You're a traditionalist. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I don't want. To, I, I don't think we should allow playing in t-shirts and things like this. Yeah, I, I yeah. like us to, to, you know, look proper. Yeah, whatever. you're a, you're yeah. a classy, classic Swede. Yeah, it doesn't need to be all white, maybe, but uh, yeah, I would like us to have a color on. That's for sure. You got one step away from taking the Sir Norman Brooks Trophy home in the 1999 final against Yevgeny Kafelnikov. Um, Disappointment, obviously, for not winning, but still a great moment in your career. Yeah, absolutely. But again, it's probably the most difficult loss. And if, if it's any match you can go back and change, it would be this one. Because I came in on a, such a role. I came to Australia. I won Adelaide. I won Kion, and I won all the most matches up. So even if it was my first Grand Slam, I was not nervous at all. And I was sure I'm going to win. I knew it was obviously a tough match, but you know this feeling that you can have when you go on the court? I was very, very positive I'm going to win. Two of your classic matches at the Australian Open were beating Mark Filipousis and, and Pat Rafter uh, in the same tournament. Now handling that in front of an Aussie crowd, that wouldn't have been easy. Oh, it's probably my strongest memories from the Australian Open when I played back-to-back -back, uh, mm -hmm. first. I think it was Rafter and then, and then Filipousis and... Uh, uh, the atmosphere on the centre court was just unbelievable um, and, and getting those two wins, uh, very strong memories, yeah. Well Thomas, it's been a pleasure. I hope you play well this week and continue your fine form. Thank you very much. <laughs>